everyone, this is this week's episode of Handy Mandy TV, and today we're going to be painting with bubbles. So, I have my big bottle here. This is about $2 at Dollar Tree, which we now have in Canada. Um, I have, now normally it calls for food coloring, so I have, this is the clubhouse stuff that you can get at the grocery store. It's like one sixty seventy cents per bottle, and um, you don't have to worry about that. Like, it's, it's really cheap, so I mean, you can use this for, you know, food coloring, make some like blue, green, red, yellow cupcakes and stuff, um, or whatever you want to use it for. Um, so I have red, yellow, green, blue here, and um, this of course has been inspired by a post that I saw on Pinterest, so the other one called for um, watercolors, uh, like liquid. So instead of using water, I'm going to use the bubbles, like the, the bubble formula. So I have my canvas ready and um, I'm using watercolor paper because of course we are using, you know, watercolors, uh, food coloring with the bubbles formula. So we're going to create like watercolors and use the watercolor uh, paper and I've put it on a piece of board and I've taped it with um, poster tape that I have. And if you're going to be using a lot of water, like you want it to be like transparent and watery and like everything bleeds into each other with that kind of water effect. Um, what you want to do is uh, stretch your watercolor. So I mean, there are books out there, like this is my paint one that have the instructions for you. You can find them online. Essentially you're just tearing your piece of, you know, paper, like you can cut it. It comes in like the pads, so I mean, if you want it smaller, but um, you just wet the paper, you sink it until it becomes pliable, you lay it on a paper and you, he's on a plywood paper and he's uh, soaking it up with a sponge, so he's removing the excess water with a sponge, and then he's stapling it from the center on all four sides and then moving out to the corners as he's like um, smoothing it over. So. Um, those are the basic instructions. Um, so since we're using the bubbles, I have this big guy that I got at Dollar Tree as well. So you can see little bumblebee. And if I that's gonna be for like really really big. So if I want to do like the you're supposed to do the back to the foreground colors. So once I start getting into specific areas, I'm gonna use this little straw. Um, you know. Next time you're in a fast food restaurant or something like that, pick up a couple straws. Um, I didn't have any on hand, so I went through some of our old like hygiene products and stuff like that, and there was a disinfectant, and I had a big straw because they have like for hairsprays that are not the aerosol ones, they're just like a perfume kind of spray, uh, really really small straws, and I was worried that it wasn't going to be usable, so I'm using a bigger one. And I have some paint brushes if I want to like do some drips going down and I'm going to be using this color scheme. These are colors that I kind of want to work with. And I'm going to mix the blues and greens for sure. I really just, I've been doing a lot of painting and stuff with like warm colors. So I planned out what I could do, but I think I'm just going to go with whatever, just go with the flow instead of planning it out. And I'm going to use those colors. So I planned all that out. So I know what colors I want to use roughly, and I have my palette. You can get this at the dollars, Dollarama for a buck. Um, and I I got an easel about a month ago, and it comes in this box. It's from Walmart, and this is thirty dollars. They have a smaller wooden one, but you have to like put it on a table to use it. This one is like the full stand, kind of like camera tripod. So you can set it up anywhere. You can you know sit on the ground and lower it. Um, the only thing is, it doesn't have like one of those things in the middle of the legs, so the legs you have to like rough out to make sure it's straight, but yeah, everything will work out. And um, it's pretty, it, well, there's a cool breeze right now. Um, I'm gonna play it by ear, but at some point I might dive into the pool and there's the phone. So, um, watch for the following. I'm gonna be doing a time lapse.
So I'm done painting and I've added some pencil crayons just to add some more depth because with the transparency of the watercolor, it just looks like it's a whole bunch of just transparent color. So um, you want to give your painting some purpose. You can use like watercolor pencils and then just add water to it or just use darker colors just to bring it out more. So this is what it looks like now. I've added some more um, depth to it. I've used... Let's see, I used the 38 Laurentian Aqua with all the blue, and then I darkened it up with the Deep Green number 9 to bring out the green, and then uh, Blueberry 41, which of course is my favorite, so awesome. Um, and then with the reddery purple colors, I've added just Great Violet, Raspberry, and blueberry again. So um, I'm going to give you guys a demonstration of how I'm doing this shading and stuff. Um, I'm going to give you guys a close-up as I do the orange, yellow little blocks of color that are in here.